Very weird customer. In uh, I don't know what y'all doing over here. There's some mother in the refrigerator. I don't know what the he's doing. This mother in there. I'm over here checking out the TV, and I just watched some mother come in here. Open it up. What the are you doing? I'm just checking out this refrigerator. The situation seems very suspicious to Les. They wait until the store closes, and then they rob the place. I was thinking about buying. What are we gonna do? Rob us? Oh no. Hey, 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 what's going on? Hey, man, it's a nice refrigerator. Security promptly throws him out with no mercy. Get the f out of here. Come on, man. So you're right now, you take another step, it's gonna be your last step of walking. A gentleman seeks to retrieve his item. Kind of pick up my stuff here. Pound in four earrings. Did you know this ticket says Paula Montgomery? No. Don't be starting a bunch of mess, because I done pawned in four earrings. I know what I pawned in. Your name is not coming up in the computer. Seth intervenes in a situation. My name is on the ticket. Paula Karen. Is that you? Uh, yes. That's you, Mr. Anthony Paula Karen. Man, I want my earrings. Give me your ticket. There's your ticket right there. I brought four earrings in here, and I want when? four earrings when? back. When? Seth takes action due to attitude issues. I told you people, ain't this a pawn shop? Why don't you come around and talk to me like a man, big boy with your earring? Where is my earring? Better get my earring. Or else what? Security intervenes. Uh, don't be putting on me. Uh, uh hold, 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 God from her, man. Don't be putting your hands on me. Mind your own damn business. You want some of this? Yeah, you're on my property. What you want, big boy? Man, don't be coming up behind me. Or else? Don't let this little fat short ass fool you. You got one thing right. Two customers who have had a bad week. I hate being here. Hey, how you guys doing? Good, how about you? We came up from Kentucky to pick a checkup from a guy in Pontiac, Michigan. We do independent movies. Guys, it's not for real. You might be able to make our bad week look a little better. Got a laptop, a compact, paid about $1,200 for it. Les makes an offer despite lack of interest. Well, it's a lot older. Well, what happened to the key? If I get 700 I couldn't get 100 bucks for it. I knew we shouldn't have come to Michigan. The customer crosses a line. I couldn't even do 50 bucks. Now you're just being insulting, though. I mean, I'm not insulting you. What a piece of <laughs> Detroit is no, anyway. Detroit isn't a piece of <laughs> Yeah, we just drove down through here. Don't tell me it's not. I was raised here. It's a really good place to live. Take a shot at me. I'll take a shot at you. I'm not a <laughs> idiot. I wouldn't want you to hit me. You live in Detroit. I'd really, really debate that whether you're an idiot or not. Les decides enough is enough. Take your <laughs> and get your ass out of here. Hey, 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 hey. Don't push, man. Don't push. You don't got to put your hands on me, buddy. Oh We're going back to where the grass is blue and the women are pretty. Your sister's your mother and your aunt's your daughter. Yeah, kiss my ass. I'm not going to jail in Detroit. I want to get out of here and not stick around. Two customers try to pawn a laptop. Meet Seth. Look at this, though. It's a notebook. I got a fingerprint scanner on this mother. You know what I mean? I'm trying to get 150 for it. Hey, you about to have a baby. Yeah, How are you guys going to wait I'm going to be the baby's guy, man. So you never had any here before? Man, what's with all the questions, man? Tensions rise as they become agitated. It's worth about 65 bucks. You got me f***ed up, bro. 65 bucks if you want to get loan. Three months, 3%. Man, him. Hey, let me see somebody else up in this bitch, dog. Where less at? Where less? You're tripping. Leading to security intervention. What you f***ing security come from? Right. Hey, These hey, mother hey, hey, Oh, oh, oh now you want to touch me. Oh, man. Okay. They ain't in this mother Look, man, up to date, computer, man. And he gonna say some $65. Why'd you give him so much? Oh, hell no. Now, he gonna act, he, I see where you get this from. <laughs> it's like, I'm like, oh. See, they're high-fiving each other like they got over on us. American <laughs> law. Les greets a suspicious customer, sparking trouble. What the hell is it? Call it a ring. Okay. I didn't think it was a bus. How'd you get it? I just got it. This guy smelled like a brewery. How much did you want? I'd like 500 for it. Well, if it was gold, I'd give you more than 500, but it's not real. If this was gold, it would be worth 2,500. I won't give you anything because it's not gold. Man, I, I don't know why you need to give it to me anyway. Man, you can give me something for it. I probably, no, 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 you can give me something for it. Just don't beat on the glass. Security steps in. It's the, it's the. Ow, I ain't going nowhere. <laughs> I got me! You man? Another customer tries to pawn a chain. Yeah, I'm trying to uh, pawn this chain right here. Okay. I can go 1500 You want to uh, do two? What if I throw an earring in there? Show there? me. I'll go $1,700. Uh, you give me $25, what if I throw a watch in there? Show me. $1,900. 
Man, you know, but they still diamonds, though. You want the two grand, I'll take care of you. Les makes a direct offer, reaching an agreement. I'm telling you, I feel like I at least 2500 Man, what the f*** y'all doing back there? Hey! What? What happened? Where my, where my jewelry at, man? Are they already give my money and keep it moving? Huh? Now I'm thinking about helping you out on the hearing aid. Give me that damn money so we can get the f*** up out of here. I don't want to do nothing, now. Nah. I run my jewelry back. I got to go. I'm here. For the joke. I do, do I? Are you talking to him, man? Run my jewelry. I'm a personal trainer. You look like you need to train. Like they paying a lot of money or something. A customer returns with a chain, claiming an issue. I just got this chain out the pawn shop. I noticed there was some bins in my links on the chain. And it wasn't like that when I pawned. So you already left the store with it. How do I know you didn't mess it up from here to there? Why didn't you check it out when I handed it to you? But his excuse lacks credibility. I must have smashed something You watched me on take it out of the envelope. Y'all had to. Once it leaves the store, there's nothing I can do. Y'all about to have to fix my before I go. Straight up. Yeah, I don't think so. I'm going to make you pay me before I leave this bitch. I don't think that's going to happen. Threats emerge leading to security intervention. Y'all gonna send y'all to your ass security now? All y'all security some is in this bitch. Oh, yeah? The off me, Chad. <laughs> Lucky I don't uppercut your ass. Middle of the mall chain right here, man. You say middle of the mall. Chad. Dude, don't touch him. Back up. You're good, Joe. Oh, ass. Walking, though. Ashley and Les are met with a very unusual item. Uh, I wanted to see if I could get a pawn loan and put my prosthetic eye. See, I lost my eye. Oh, see that? Took the bearings off the floor and threw it over the dock. It hit me. Put in your eye? Yeah. So yes. my eye came out like a bored egg. Les is interested and wants to know more. You know, we do take prosthetic limb. There's a demand for that. I don't really know if there's a demand for a prosthetic eye. I can't get anything. How much did you need? Like 100, 150. But despite being a good story, Les has to look at the business side of things. If it would be a prosthetic limb, you know, I could resell it. But for us, this would really have no value. I'm sorry. Seth heads over to help a customer. Came up here one day to get extension. So I call up here. I say, yo, I, I'm trying to find out what I could do to make arrangements, keep my stuff. He told me, oh, you fine. Here's three months. You can come and pick it up at September. All right. Only a couple of moments into the story, Seth smells something fishy. Who said that? Wait, wait, Who said that? I'm, on, I'm not no, going to name him just know. yet. Yeah. So you're already lying. Twice. You cannot get a 90-day extension go put, on the phone. Go, oh my, Are you going to uh, let me talk? Computer. Are you going to let me talk? Things begin to get heated. We don't give 90-day extension. What's stopping me from breaking them rules if I'm on the phone and you out here talking to another? You're asked to leave. I, I will when I when right now. turn my property or call the police. The customer has other plans in mind. Take off. My paper back. I want the end message. Get up. I'm calling the police. Arm, man. My arm is just... Stop. Let him go. Call that. This next customer walks in looking for his girlfriend's bracelet. Um, I'm here to uh, get my girlfriend's uh, bracelet back, tennis bracelet. I'm not allowed to just give anybody's item away. Look, hold on a second. Slow it down. I can't go back empty-handed without her bracelet, okay? You guys said I didn't need it. Come out you would have never, ever you told you that. And just like that, we have a situation on our hands. Told you what? I don't know. I didn't get a name. Okay. Back Sir, where's the ticket? It's her I don't have a ticket. What? I gotta be on my flight by four o'clock. I appreciate that. Well, let me get my bracelet, bro. Sure. I need a ticket or a notarized letter. That's the only way you can get the bracelet. Things continue to become tense. You guys said it was okay on the phone, bro. Give me the you call me liar now. You're, you're I'm calling me liar. You're calling me liar, yeah. bro, from behind that glaze. That was perhaps the biggest mistake this customer made. We're gonna make this really, really simple. You're gonna walk out the door. I'm not leaving without it. Make me get out then. Why? Yeah, you're gonna stand behind those people. Poor little uh-huh. You're my bracelet. What do you need your boy in front of you for, huh? Rep costumer trying to pawn a TV. Looking towards pawning my TV and my DVD player. Can't take that. And realistically, I'm not going to be able to give you a loan on that TV. It wouldn't matter much to me. I would rather sit here and talk to you. But this customer seems to have plenty of time as he shows Seth his life story. I'm really a somebody, you know? I really am. You seem to be hero of this nation in which you're standing in today. I have been an All-American football player. I got a $80,000 resume. I was security slash homeland security off. I'm only 20. Okay. You can't find nobody else that like that. Again, Seth sticks to the matter at hand. There's nothing I can do for you. This stuff is just too old. Look, I'm trying not to just make this difficult. You know a lot of me? I said Perfect. You understand? And take it out of here. Seth is not one to back down from a challenge, especially on home turf. 
How about I have you take it out? I don't. You think you scare me? So get the out of here. You make it. You want to see me make you? Yeah. Walk. Back up, dude. I ain't touching you. Don't touch me, man. Cause man, I'll break his face, man. I bitch press your weight, little dude. Why don't you take that piece of and get off the property? Okay, Squeaky. Time for you to go. Snack hungry, this customer has a big issue on his hands. Just look at this one candy bar sitting in front of the ones I want. My favorite candy bar. Man, that's the dude. First of all, look at this candy bar. I just want y'all to open this gate up. Somebody open this door. That's all I'm saying. Seth approaches quickly and waits for his turn as the customer keeps rambling. Hey, done? You want me to break this piece of crap, dude? Get your hands off me! Call the police, do what y'all gonna do. You, I ain't going out nowhere. Still causing commotion outside as it seems he has forgotten something. Yo, think of this Just because y'all got these big cars don't mean All you gotta do is open the candy bar up, man. Go get my damn payday! Y'all think this shit is a joke. That's all I'm saying. Seth makes sure this unwanted customer is removed. Man, I don't even want to see you, dog. So get the f*** off the property. You get the f*** off the property. Think y'all can look at me like I'm a piece of trash. Oh, you gonna throw my wallet like that, man? Don't throw my damn candy bar like that. Next up, we have a customer in need of money. I have some material things that I would like to find. Okay. They have my car impounded. Now I have to find the money or means to get the car out. You have more than this? Yeah, it's grilled. You have a custom made, obviously. I want the best that they have, because it's in my mouth. You have acetones in there. Negotiations begin. How much are you looking for? I'm trying to get $1,000. Grills are custom, so essentially it's worth scrap value. For the grill, you're looking about 100 Jackie, you're looking about 25 bucks. You said $25? Look how many coat? coats I have. This is very insulting. Wait, wait, wait. The customer is not happy at all, but he is also good at being persistent. Just well, be honest. Be a man and just be, be honest. A man. Is there anybody else I can talk to? Because obviously you don't even understand what I'm saying. After disregarding Seth, the customer wants to talk to someone else. Okay, why don't you talk to me? You want 25 on your coat? Why would you ask me $25? Les is not one to play around, so he cuts to the chase. Here's the deal. We'll be more than happy to help you with 25 so To me, $25 is a lot. So Thank you so much for coming. I don't want to shake you. Another determined customer arrives. I want to pound this TV. Okay. I'm looking for 400 What can you do? I can go 100 Excuse me? I need more than that. I have to pawn this TV, but I can't give you more. Les refuses to yield. My ex-boyfriend hit for me. I have to get away. You see this? What did yeah. he do to you I last night? He beat me up last night. You clearly don't see that. I don't. So you have beautiful you. skin. I can I tell you that. Yes. I'm trying to be nice before I lose my temper. Like, can you just give me the money? Les ejects the customer. I think you want to call security because I'm about to act the floor. Turn around. I don't need call. to call security. You don't need to call them. What the f you gonna do? Anyway, like I said, need for a hundred. I I'm think, honestly, no. Nah, you. I will never come back to my f American jewelry alone. F what the f you looking at? No, like I never come back to this bitch. Ashley helps a customer retrieve an item. Come to pay forty dollars on my laptop. It'll be ninety-seven twenty. I called, though, and I spoke with someone. They told me to bring up $40. I need my laptop. What am I supposed to do? The loan was for $80. It never would have been. Okay, okay. okay. But they told me I spoke with someone. Excuse me. Why are you screaming? $90. I need it for my class. Okay. Let's get my laptop out of here. Tensions rise to a confrontation. I called over the phone. The phone, hello? I talked to some bitch named Nikki. I just need to speak to the bitch. Where's the bitch at? 9720. What are you doing? Nikki bitch, right? Nikki bitch. Get my laptop, I'm gonna have to tear this bitch up. Nikki the bitch. Why are you coming out here, Nikki bitch? Where's my laptop? Oh my Ashley has had enough. Why are you touching me, sir? Child. Get your hands off of me. I want my laptop. I don't know who the you think you are. I don't know who the you are. You know what? I'll be back, bitch, and I'm gonna get you. You. Bye. You. 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 Why vocabulary? You. 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 Ashley deals with a customer seeking an Xbox. Girlfriend, she came up here and she got rid of my Xbox 360 and I came up here to get it back. Give you my information. Yeah, but it's not under your name. So here's what you gotta do. No, I, no. You, you, can, you can just give me my 360. No, I'm not just gonna give you your well, 360. Ashley's explanation falls on deaf ears. You just okay. need to give me my stuff. No, I don't need to do anything I don't have you. no ticket. Okay. What y'all supposed to have some security guards or something? Can I just have no. my... No, stop right here. And I'll sell you one for $200. No, I can grab one. Hey! Get him. Get out of here. Get the f out. Now, don't ever step back. You gonna make me move? Bye. Two friends attempt to sell a ring. I wanted to sell this ring. I'm sorry. It's not real. I bought this from here. He decided. Yes, she did. Don't cut the her ring, off. She's the trying ring, to the talk. Ring. Do you have the receipt?
Ashley tries to help them. You could just give me the money. Find that receipt. You're just a smart ass, ain't you? Y'all know y'all got that <laughs> Give her something. Yeah. You're a stupid bitch. One friend's actions lead to trouble. Oh, we take a second up out of here. Let me see you take something. How's it going? They're not taking you don't. Don't. Give me give my up. Hey. Help my ass. Hey. You're talking all that Get these women. We break the link tonight. You're going to let me go. Two go. for the price of what? Oh, I got to work. Y'all up in this bitch. Have a good day. A customer seeks a loan from Leslie. I got a keyboard in here. I got a recording gig I got to do, and I only need to know if I can borrow it for just an hour, come back and give you the money. That's not how it works. He has a keyboard and phone. Uh-huh. And he wants to borrow it. Les requires compensation. I was going to leave you my ID if I could. That ID ain't no good anyway, because the date's been cut off. Me and Rick. That's why Liberace. You see? You know? Can you come out here so I can talk to you? Liberace. Oh, I'm asking you, my man. Can somebody get this big bet off of me? Man, you can't work with where I'm at. Excuse me, bro. Hey, my bad. My bad. See, I was going to buy a microphone, too. I ain't buying Quit yeah. money off him. I'll take yeah. your ring. You is not getting my ring, man. Security's interference causes problems. Whatever. Whatever. Bro, 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 bro. Whatever. Not Florida. Come back when you get the money. If to I take get the keyboard, that's how I'm going to get the money. But you ain't going to get the keyboard. Liberace, it's time to go. Bro, I've been waiting. No, no. no. Let's have a good hey, day. Hold on. Let's have a good day. Yeah. I wouldn't touch me if bro, I was you. Look what you see what I'm saying, man. Right, I just asked him. Thank you for watching. And as always, like and subscribe for more content.